Creative knowledge building entails working toward more inclusive principles and higher level formulations of problems. It means learning to work with diversity, complexity, and messiness, and from that, achieve new synthesis. By moving to higher planes of understanding, knowledge builders transcend trivialities and oversimplifications and reach beyond current best practices. I want to make sure that the kids understand that all of their opinions are valued in my classroom. Um, and, you know, I, how does that, that happens by sort of ex allowing opinions to ha to, uh, different opinions to happen, teaching them to take a critical stance um, and letting them know that, you know, research may say this or research may say that and to go out and research what other sort of uh, texts have to say about that and then formulate their own opinion and know that even if it's not the same opinion as everyone else in the classroom it's okay it's valued and it's accepted and, to, and that teaches students confidence um, and it can sort of convey to sort of all other areas where is where um, being confident in the classroom to say their own opinion, even though it's different from somebody else, and then maybe even outside on at recess having their own opinion and, and being okay with just that and, and knowing that it doesn't have to be the same as everyone else. For even the child whose skills make it difficult for them to uh, difficult for them to contribute in the traditional way, say writing. Um, you know, they're still doing yeah. the high Thinking level, yeah. the Thinking. high level mm -hmm. cognitive work that usually we reserve only for the gifted children. Asking open-ended questions, having them pose open-ended questions themselves that have no right or wrong. Uh, that's something that I work on in my classroom right from the very beginning of the year and I make sure that anything that they're given doesn't have a right or a wrong and that lends itself to discussion and the students knowing that they can't be wrong then start to open up and they're much more willing to participate in class and we hear from the students and we know that the sharing of ideas, the um, sharing of information student to student is way more effective and way more, uh, it's, it's far more um, educational for the students, the learnings, their outcomes increase because of the participation and the collaboration.